Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. So let's build a new one here. So we want our Sailor, Cutthroats. Now is Vandal good enough? Could be okay, like it synergizes with the Sailor if we activate Sailor during our own turn, but maybe there's no room for it. Want the Mystic, the Ambusher, then we need to work on the counter spells. No longer have Essence Scatter, but we do have Essence Capture. Um, quench, Negate are options, Sabotage, for sure. So my guess is we want at least two Essence Captures, probably one or two Negates. Yeah, Essence Capture is not going to be easy on the mana base, that's for sure. So we're not going to reliably cast it on turn two, but that's fine. Probably want a couple of quenches. I guess on summon. One, two of those. So we're at 52 cards at the moment. So how do we want to round this out? V2 Gazi at five is an option. Maybe as a one-off. Uh, chemisters. Don't know if we want chemisters since we already have all these four mana cards. Could maybe fit in the Fairy Duelists, since we're losing the Trickster, so we might want something else that interacts with creatures that's relatively cheap. Commands at 6 also seems a bit too expensive, so we'll try 1v2 Gazi. Maybe add another Quench. It's kind of a catch-all counterspell. I don't think this deck wants Arcbow, just not enough creatures for it. Lazota Plating, nah, seems medium. Could play more unsummons, could play Fairy Duelist, could play the new Fairy, could play Anticipate. Terramander as another threat could be okay. Although we don't have like a ton of instants and sorceries necessarily. We're a bit light on like cantrips, I guess, so we could play Anticipate, could play Radical Idea. Those are options. Uh, grow Spiral maybe, to get to 4 mana turn sooner. It does draw a card and it's an instant, so... It's probably not too bad. And then maybe just like play 25 lands so we don't miss our land drop. Maybe just play a playset of Quench. Although the issue with Quench is that it kind of falls off pretty hard after the first couple turns. Could play third and summon, that's also reasonable. And then the mana base. There have definitely been some cards spoiled that would slot in nicely into this deck. So the deck is definitely getting some upgrades in Eldraine. So probably want 18 blue sources at least. Our deck doesn't really want to flood out, but we do have Sailor as a mana sink too. And if we're going to play Spiral, then it uh, makes sense to play f some extra lands. I could play one of Thornwood Falls. Also don't want infinite tap lands. But maybe one is okay. Over a forest. This way we have uh, 16 green and 18 blue, which is kind of what I want. Alright, this seems okay. Alright, I guess I can uh, keep this one. Oh, is it the mirror match? Probably not. Unsummons, okay. We kind of want to draw our powerful cards, the Mystic and the Ambusher. If they're playing a blue-green ramp deck, then Unsummon can bounce their two-mana creature, but then I can't counter it on the way back. Now let's bottom it. And I couldn't bounce the Paradise Road anyway. Alright, so we've got some instants at the ready here. The Risen Reef, probably want to quench that for now. The upside of quench is that it can counter a Nissa, whereas Essence Capture cannot. But we're not taking full advantage of the plus one counter from Essence Capture, and the quench is also going to get worse over time. Uh, 
unsummon. Alright, so now I could unsummon the druids, so they can't play Nissa next turn. I think I like that. So I can't get a counter on Cutthroat, but I can keep up Assassin's Capture to counter Druid on the way back. Which is probably fine. So I could let the Druid resolve, or I could Assassin's Capture it. I think I'm letting it resolve, and then just flash in a Cutthroat so we get a bit of a threat going. And then keep Assassin's Capture for the payoff card instead of the Mana Dorks. Perfect. Don't really want to trade Cutthroat for Druids, when we can probably make it bigger. So if they don't play anything worth countering, I just go Cutthroat into Spiral end of turn. Otherwise I can Mystic. Want to keep Mystic for some powerful cards. Tamio probably counts. It's no Nissa, so maybe I should let it resolve and then just go Cutthroat into Gross Spiral and attack Tamio. Opponent deciding what to name with Tamio, or maybe they want a minus to get back Risen Reef. They're gonna plus. Hydroid Crisis, and they milled over a Nissa. So am I okay if the Cutthroat trades for the Paradise Druids? Don't want it to trade, but maybe they don't even offer the trade. And I do want to get this Tamiya off the table. Alright, Chum Blocks, that's fine. Your aggression is noted. So we've got double Counterspell up here. So we'll see whether our decision of holding the Mystic pays off. Of course, Krasis is very good against us, since we can counter the card draw or the life gain. Probably want to split the counters here. They're gonna plus. I think you will find my notes helpful. So probably still attacking Tamiya with both. It's a bit of a waste of damage, but... I guess I could just attack with one. Let them chum block if they want to. Ooh, that's a great draw. Now that I drew the Sailor, I can maybe just attack with uh, both. Because I would be happy with a Chum Block too. it's not like Tammy is really doing all that much. But it's going to maybe force me to use up an extra counter spell on whatever they get back. Nah, let's just kill Tamiya. End of turn, Flash and Sailor. That's fine. I really need to keep the Frilled Mystic for the must counters. Like Nissa, maybe Cavalier. Alright, so now we're in great shape. Cutthroat's a pretty good card, especially in this deck. Is it time for a big crisis? Ooh, that's dirty. Alright, that went well.
I could see this deck struggling against uh, Field of the Dead decks since we can't really counter land drops. But uh, yeah, if we've got a good draw, we stand a chance against a lot of uh, different decks. We're on the play with a decent hand, so we'll keep. Turn one Sailor. Turn two we get to keep up Cutthroat and Assassin's Capture. Could actually be correct not to play the Sailor turn one, just so we can grow the Cutthroat afterwards. Although if I'm going to Assassin's Capture turn two, then I want to put the counter on the Sailor, so I think I'll still play it here. If they give me the chance to trade Cutthroat for Knights, I think I'll take it. Maybe this figure. Alright. So really just want land 4 here. Playing 25 lands, so hopefully we get rewarded. Although we have 5 lands that come into play tapped as well here. And yeah, Knight of Abon Legion is pretty good against uh, Counterspell decks since you don't need to uh, play anything on the stack for the knight to be good once it's in play. Did not find the land, so... They can easily outrace us if I miss another land drop. If we get to flash an ambusher, we can probably keep pace with the knight. Alright, well, I'm getting to the point where I need to consider chum blocking with the uh, Spectral Sailor. Probably not quite there yet. Sir Point resolved one card this game, and it might be enough. Legion's End. Don't really care about losing the Sailor too much, but I guess I'll still counter it here. And keep a line on top. Of course, the Surveil, good reason to pull the trigger there too. So I could keep both Sailors back, I could keep one Sailor back, the plan is to flash in the Ambusher. If, let's say, they kill the Sailor with another Disfigure, that we leave back, then I'll be forced to chum block with Ambusher or counter the removal spell with the Frilled Mystic. Which I maybe don't want to do. So I think I'll leave both Sailors back since the damage is probably negligible. If they have another Legions, then of course I'm going to be forced to Frilled Mystic. Dread Presence. Yeah, that's a problem since we're at two, so we just dive to have a land. Probably can't let that resolve. I could Mystic, I could Essence Capture. I think I'll Mystic just to put an extra creature in play in case I have more removal. Eh, we'll just hang back again with both. Same reasoning as last time. And I'll probably jump with the Frilled Mystic this time. Another one, alright. I would love to get this uh, Ambusher in play, but they're not giving us a chance. Alright, that's a good pickup. Although no land 5. So I'm still just gonna hang back here. Jump with a Mystic. Although unsummoning my own Mystic is also a pretty sweet play we could make.
No, that's fine. It's not great for us, but it's not necessarily a must counter. Registrar is also very good, but I think I'm supposed to let that resolve. Can't uh, take two from the breeding pool, so I'll just have to play tapped. Can make him discard from the Registaur and then we'll see what we want on summon. Thanks with all, so they can pump Knight twice. So I could just put Ambusher in front of Midnight Reaper, Wolf in front of Knight, Bounce Registaur. Seems okay. Could flash in a second Ambusher and attempt to double block. It is more mana efficient to Ambusher than Unsummon, so next turn I can Unsummon plus activate Sailor. But I think I'll go for the Unsummon play here. Probably should have assigned blockers first. And then we can Essence Capture on the way down. Where do we put the counter? Probably the Sailor, honestly, so I can start pressuring them with it. Cutthroats. Alright, so for this turn, I'll still leave both back. Just to be safe. But then now I can... Uh, flash in an extra ambusher, cutthroats. Should be in okay shape. So I can use a cutthroat to chum block, essentially, but I kind of want to get some traction going. So I can either double block with the ambushers on the Regisaur to trade off and then keep the Sailor or I can jump with the Sailor and have double ambusher going but I kind of want to card draw from Sailor now that we're gonna be on empty soon it's probably better to double block with ambushers than it is to chum block with cutthroats so let's do that It's bad if they top deck the removal spell here, but I don't think I can really do much about it. Alright, now we're in great shape. I think I'm attacking with both. We've kind of turned the corner here. All right, sweet. Pretty interesting game. All right, this hand's missing a second green source. We're on the play. Being on the play makes this hand maybe keepable since we get to sabotage on three and then surveil into hopefully a forest. On the draw, I don't think I could keep this, but on the play, I'll try it. Uh-oh, turn on mountain. Not what this hands wants to see. There's a spitter. Well, hopefully they don't have more one drops here. There's a cavalcade. It's definitely a scary card, but if we can keep them off critical mass of creatures, we might be okay. Would have loved to have that quench last turn. So we have a fourth land, but still no double green. And without double green, the sand doesn't do anything, so the surveil better be good. Yeah, I think I just gotta counter whatever they play here, since otherwise they're just gonna play dodger and not do anything else. At least they can't resolve the Spitfire this turn, which would be the scariest card. The bad news is they could have another 
cavalcade here that I can't counter. Sailor, don't think it's good enough. I lined up the stage, finds shock and mountain. It's not too bad. All right, still no second green source, although sabotage could be worse. Resolves. I think I got a sabotage, even though quench is kind of better since it's going to be useless later. I just want to surveil one to dig me towards green mana. It's just too important here. All right, we got there. Might be too late, but at least we've got a chance. That's got to be countered. I'll use a Mystic so we can block the Spitter. I can quench another Scorcher. So what happens if they go Land Scorcher? Flash and Ambusher have two blockers. Take three from the triggers, one from the creatures. I don't think I'm supposed to attack in case they go Land Scorcher. Although I do want to start clocking them so I don't get burnt out. But for this turn I think I'm still hanging back. Flash and Ambusher and then try and turn the corner as soon as possible. Right, just the lands. Alright. Wow, opponent concedes. I guess they were on empty. And there we go. Alright, so another opening hand, so missing the double green. This time we're on the draw. So I don't know if I can keep this time around. Unsummon's a good way to kind of break serve, but no counter spells before turn four. I think this is a mulligan. This is better. Still not great. Only two lands, no power four drops, but we do have sailors, negates. So this is matchup dependent. If we're up against a creature deck, this hand's pretty bad. If we're up against a more controlling deck, double negates can buy us enough time. Probably bought on one sailor. Thought very sure. Flash and sailor. Probably take in the gates. They took the unsummon. That's strange. So maybe they're a creature deck after all. Maybe they have a God Eternal Kefnet that they want to resolve. Sure. I think I'm taking two here. Give them a little bit less info, the damage probably doesn't matter too much. And that way I get to Sailor plus Keep Up Negates. And now we're actually in a pretty reasonable spot. Sailor plus double negate at the ready. I think I will fight over this one. Ooh, nice. I think we'll keep that one. We're not going to ambush anything with it, most likely, but just a nice uh, threat to have. 
Antro God Eternals milling us, so that would also get rid of the Awakening. Alright, so we're out of negates. Antro God Eternals also maybe explains why they took the Unsummon, since that can just bounce a token. Alright, so I can smash in there with the V2 Gassy here. I think that's worth it, instead of just keeping up mana. I'm gonna go for it. So, gotta make sure to play my land, since this doesn't untap. And then probably wanna animate the land I care about the least, which is an island. Alright, we're shields down, but we've got a 9-9 in play. Ooh, ouch. Oh, that's a blowout. Probably dead now. Did not account for Liliana. Should I keep land in hand? Kiss of like a thought or sure, maybe. Alright, Ambusher gives us a bit of hope. Should I Ambusher in response? I don't think they're playing counter spells. Yeah, I mean, the Liliana would have been good against the Awakening regardless. Because if they just made a zombie token, the Awakening never really gets to connect. We got punished a little bit, but I'm not sure if it's uh, something we really could have prevented. So, I could ambush a token, but then I give them a chance to kill or ambush her at, instant, at uh, sorcery speed, I mean, if they have like a cry in hand. Don't think that's worth it. Finds Ritual. Just a land. I guess I'm attacking Narset. I mean, probably never winning this game since we're so far behind on resources. This is where a sailor would have been uh, pretty useful. Yeah, that's true that Liliana also just kills the Ambusher now. But if we drew something useful here, maybe we had an out. Like if I drew and summon, I could have bounced a zombie and attack Liliana. Probably our only window to really get something going. Yeah, maybe I should have been more patient on the negates, although the first negate was to keep a sailor in play. I guess I didn't even get to use a sailor. So didn't really get much value from it. The second one was on Antro God Eternals, which also seemed pretty important to counter. So yeah, maybe I was too protective of the Sailor, and kind of got punished for it. Now they get to kill the Ambusher and the Token. Yeah, this game seems pretty over. So, yeah, I guess the way we are supposed to win this game is just hold the negates, let the Sailor die, and then hope to ride the Awakening to victory, although we didn't know about the Awakening until later. Oh well, you live, you learn. Yeah, instead of countering Antro God Eternals, I could have just activated Sailor, drawn the V2 Gassy, and then kept the negate in hand. Maybe that was the winning play. I don't know, it just seems like Sailor's so good against the control deck, being able to draw some extra cards. But it didn't really pan out. Oh well. 
didn't quite get there, but still 3-1 and one with our flash deck, and could have potentially won that last one with some different play. So any closing remarks? Like, we already know about some of the new cards from Eldraine that will definitely make their way into this deck. There's like the 2-2 two -two creature with flash and reach that can accumulate plus one plus one counters. That seems very good. Uh, can't recall if there was another flash creature that uh, fit into the deck. But yeah, definitely a deck after rotation to keep in mind. And if there's ever more counter spells printed, those can also make their way into the deck. Grow Spiral is easily cuttable. Uh, Quench, we can easily shave a few copies. Uh, most of the other cards, like Awakening, is also, I guess, a flex slot. But I guess the core of the deck is still going to be Sailor, Cutthroat, Ambusher, Mystic, Sabotage for the time being, and then a few Unsummons, and then the two mana counter spells, based on which ones are available. And then the threats, we can add a few more with the ones coming in Eldraine. Uh, the Counter Fairy, that's a good point. Um, I don't think the Fairy itself has Flash, but it is 3 mana Counterspell at instant speed, and then you can have access to a 2-1 Flyer on the creature side, so that's one of those adventure creatures, so that one could definitely also make its way into the deck. Although I don't think the creature itself has Flash. So yeah, that card, plus the 2-2 two -two Reach with Flash, those are two cards that could definitely uh, find their way into the archetype. So yeah, definitely a deck to uh, keep in mind after rotation. Want to thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.